To modify a matrix element, you can use indexing to simply assign a different value to that element. From the previous video, we had already declared the row vector A and the matrix B. In this case, we're just going to start by looking at the row vector A. Let's change the sixth element of A into, say, the number 5. Remember that you can address the element using linear indexing, so we could use a6 equals 5. Notice how the sixth element has now changed to value 5. You can modify multiple elements at the same time using the colon operator. So for example, let's now change the first three elements of a to the value of 10. We can just run the command a parentheses 1 colon 3 equals 10. And you can see here that the first three elements have been changed to the value of 10. You can also assign different values for the input. So for example, instead of changing the first three elements to a value of 10, let's say we want to change it to 2, 4, and 6 instead. So we can also type in a 1 colon 3 equals, and then open bracket to make a matrix, 2, 4, 6, close bracket. You can see here that the first three elements have been changed to 2, 4, and 6. Now, if you're doing it this way, it is important to note that the size of the matrix on the left-hand side must match the size of the matrix on the right-hand side. In this case, both of these have three elements. You can also use subscript indexing to modify elements in the matrix. Using the matrix B that we declared previously, we can modify, say, the element in row 3, column 1 by using a command like B3, comma 1 equals 30. And we can also modify a whole column. Let's say in this case, we want to modify the entire third column here. And we can use a command like b colon comma 3 equals 10, 20, 30. And you can see here that the third column has been changed to 10, 20, 30. Again, remember that if you want to change the elements to different values, you must provide a matrix on the right-hand side that matches the size of the index elements on the left-hand side. So for example, if we had tried to run a command like b colon comma 3 equals 10, 20, 30, 40, we would get an error instead. Finally, let's look at deleting elements. To do so, we can assign an empty matrix, which is just two square brackets to an element. Note that the matrix must still be rectangular after deleting that element. Let's go back to MATLAB and clear the screen. And let's look at our vector a. We can delete the first element in a by typing in a parentheses 1 equals empty matrix. Notice that the vector a is now one element shorter. We can delete multiple elements by typing in a 1 colon 3 equals empty matrix. Notice that a is now only three elements in size. For matrices, you can delete entire rows and columns. For example, you can type in b colon comma 3 equals empty matrix to delete the entire third column. Now one last example, if you use linear indexing to delete elements in a matrix, MATLAB might convert the matrix into a vector. Say for example, we delete the first element by typing in b parentheses 1 equals an empty matrix. b is converted into a row vector. This is because matrices must be rectangular and once we remove that first element, the only way to make it rectangular is now to convert B into a row vector.